Now, it's a charity which supports people in their recovery from substance abuse by enlisting the help of those who've battled their own addictions. Crossreach runs a recovery cafe in Dundee, a place to provide emotional support for those in need and an opportunity to gain skills to help their independence. With more, here's Callum Clark. I lost like, my son in 2017. My partner was murdered in 2010. And um, I, I went down a really, really bad road. Leanne has faced trauma which most of us couldn't begin to imagine. Using drugs on and off since the age of 12, she says this service in Dundee has helped her navigate her darkest moments. I need this. I need you. I, I, me personally, I need it. I can't explain it in any other words apart from it. It's safe, family atmosphere and there's no judging. It's a community cafe for people in recovery organised by volunteers who've either battled or been impacted by an addiction. People that have been through it, regardless of whatever, just struggles in general, people kind of get it and they can kind of relate to you. So that barrier comes down and that person kind of, their shoulders go up a wee bit more, their head comes up and they go, maybe it's not just because I've been a bad person, this is maybe much bigger. Run by an organisation called Crossreach, the sessions aim to provide a safe space for those battling addiction and provide them with life skills. A lot of people I've spoken to over the years have never had a certificate, never had anything. So if we can provide the health and hygiene course, which goes along with the coffee set, provide the training for money handling, for rotation of stock, they've got someone to put on a CV as well. Drug deaths have been described as Scotland's national shame, a problem the city of Dundee knows all too well. For years, it's had one of the highest average drug death rates in the country. And despite figures dropping from peak levels in 2019, in this city alone, someone dies as a direct result of drugs nearly every week. September marks Recovery Month, aiming to raise awareness of support services in a bid to tackle stigma. I'd be lost without you. It's like family. And it, they're, they're, nobody judges you because of, what, of your past. And... Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a place you want to get up to and come and just get a date and come. Callum Clark, STV News.